A lot of people claim to be smart. A lot of people in this world claim they know it all. And then they come to me, all these other people in my field, numerology and astrology, and they tell me, these people are too dumb to understand me. That's not their problem, that's your problem. These people will tell you, I, I, I don't know how to get my message out to these people. Let me explain what's going on here. You have to bring what you know to people's level. Most people, aren't bright enough to understand this is a virtual reality and the numerology and astrology of cheat codes. They're not bright enough to get that. But you want to get your message out, right? So you got to bring it down to their level. I don't really care about sports. If it wasn't for gambling, I wouldn't even give a damn about sports. Nada. But a lot of people in society care about sports. So if you want to bring numerology and astrology to their level, guess what? You got to know about sports. You have to know that Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, adds up to 29, 2 and 9 is 11. It's the same as Kobe Bryant, born 823, 1978, adds up to 38, 3 and 8 is 11. You have to be able to go out there and talk to people who aren't interested in numerology. And you got to be able to tell them, you know what? You know what Kobe and Michael have in common? They're both the same numerology number. All of a sudden, light bulb goes up in people. Other people... They're not interested in sports. They're interested in history. And you got to tell them 9-11 happened on the 11th when the first plane hit the World Trade Center was flight 11. The Twin Towers look like an 11 side by side. New York City, 11 letters. The Pentagon, 11 letters. Afghanistan, 11 letters. Bring it to their level. Or maybe people are interested in podcasters. You got to be able to tell them, guess what? Do you know why a punk ass kid like Aiden Ross made it? Because he's born on the 11th. But like Joe Rogan like Alex Jones. You have to be able to do that. Don't sit there and tell me you're smarter than everybody else, but you can't articulate any of your thoughts. If you can't get your work down to their level, if you can't get the plebs to understand what's going on, they don't fail. They already failed in life. You fail.